This video is for informational purposes only. There are risks to jailbreaking your iDevice and it does void your Apple warranty. So think before you act. Hey guys, Matt here from todaysiphone.com and we got a lot of jailbreak news to cover this week, so let's get to it. As many of you guys probably already know, the A5 jailbreak was released this week, so that means the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S can be jailbroken, untethered, using Absinthe. Absinthe is available on Mac OS X, uh, Windows, and Linux. We did post a Mac video earlier this week. It didn't show the full process. I will do an update video to that and show you guys the ending, which was not in there. And then hopefully I will be able to get a Windows video out to you guys as well. Here's a little fun fact for you guys. So when Absent hit the public, it was downloaded over a million times in the first day. That is incredible. And now they're saying, and this is just a prediction, that over 100,000 devices are already jailbroken just because of Absent. That is awesome. Okay, so the reason I think this jailbreak is very popular is because it kind of follows in the footsteps of the past where it's just a simple click. There's no creating IPSWs or anything fancy. It's just you simply plug in your device, press jailbreak, and you're good to go. Um, I think for the people that are weary of jailbreaking, this makes them feel a little bit more comfortable knowing it's just a one-step click and you're done thing. It's nothing drawn out, uh, which I personally really do enjoy uh, the one-click process. Whether I have to plug it into the computer or not to do that, I'm just two things. I can't stand having to create IPSWs, and I can't stand tethered jailbreaks. They drive me nuts. <laughs> Anywho, now that I'm done rambling, I just want to let you guys know if you are experiencing any bugs, please report them to our site. We do have a post up, but also please report them to Pod2G so that he knows the issues you're having. For instance, I lost all my photos, but I also backed it up as I instructed you guys in our video. Please make sure you're backing up your device. I don't want you guys to lose anything, especially important photos or texts or whatever. Make sure you back up your device and then go through with the jailbreak uh, because you don't want to lose anything important to you. Now before we head into the next segment guys, I don't like solicitating so don't hate me for this, but could you guys please consider donating to Pod2G and his crew. As you guys know, they've put in so much time for us to enjoy this jailbreak and they deserve something in return because when they're making this jailbreak guys, there's no guarantee that they're going to get paid or anything's going to happen besides everyone in the world's going to use it and that's really it. So consider donating to them. Give them a little motivation and thank them for the awesome jailbreak tool that they've delivered to us. I know I will be, um, so you guys should consider it too. I will leave a link down below in the description for you guys. Um, but like I said, please don't hate me. You don't have to donate to get anything. Um, the jailbreak tool is free. I was just saying this to uh, you know be considerate to them because they deserve it, if you ask me. Let's head into our next topic, and Photo Booth is being ported to the iPhone 4S. Thanks to Apple D3V, he is currently working on it. He posted a video of it. It is looking pretty awesome. I'm surprised that Apple actually didn't have Photo Booth in iOS 5 for the 4S, but it will be coming soon, so I will keep you guys posted on that. So this week's Tweak of the Week winner is actually a group of three tweaks um, that I've decided to share with you guys because I think they're all great tweaks, and I knew right when the 4S was jailbroken, they'd be something everybody would want to look into, and that is Siri Toggles. Siri mic color and Siri UI backgrounds. Siri UI backgrounds allows you to change the background from that Apple standard gray to whatever you'd like. Siri colors allows you to change the microphone color rather than it being purple, you can make it orange or whatever. And Siri toggles allows you to do things like disable the Wi-Fi, open up applications simply with Siri. So Siri tweaks have won it this week. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I will continue to do news updates and cover tweaks. I want to thank you guys so much again. Uh, for sticking with us as I knew this jailbreak um, did take a little bit to get out but it is worth it. Uh, go check it out. If you guys have any questions leave them down below. If you're looking to get in contact with me hit me up on Twitter at HomieGeek. Other than that guys I will see you next week. Have a great day and peace.